be ready 10 seconds to go start i feel privileged to be here today to inaugurate this very important national conference on the role of our women in processes of nation building is it not a comment on our social and political consciousness that we still feel it necessary to organize such a conference on a theme as obvious as this can it ever be that half the population of a nation has to even reiterate its relevance to the processes of nation building the time has come for us to give due place in our society including our political institutions our economic processes and in every walk of life to our mothers sisters and daughters to those who make our homes nurture our children shape and mold the citizens of india of tomorrow no nation can stand proud if it discriminates against any of its citizens certainly no society can claim to be a part of the modern civilized world unless it treats its women on par with men the time for genuine and full empowerment of our women is here and now this is an idea whose time has truly come but whose realization we must all now work to ensure and to make this happen we in our country must never forget our own proud legacy in this regard no democratic revolution had ever before given women equality of status as our leaders did during our own freedom movement even the french revolution did not give equality or fraternity or true liberty to the french women against this backdrop of history india's freedom struggle made a historic and heroic departure by upholding women's rights Mahatma Gandhi declared that as long as women of India did not take part in public life there was no salvation for our country large scale participation of women became the defining feature of our struggle for our independence out of that came the recognition that our men must play their due role in all processes of governance our constitution was based on the idea of gender equality and the necessity to empower women when we found that in actual practice this was not getting reflected leaders of the stature of jawahar lal nehru took specific steps to promote gender equality and women's empowerment i recall indira ji 
asking the planning commission to focus specially on women and development when we were drafting the fourth five year plan for economic development here every five years a million women are being elected to the panchayats of our country this large scale mobilization of women in the public life of our country is an unprecedented event it is the most important political intervention aimed at the empowerment of women anywhere in the world we salute the role played by our prime minister in launching this great journey of women's empowerment in india the time has now come for us to move ahead on this path the common minimum program of the upa government recognizes the political legal educational and economic empowerment of women as one of our topmost priorities we consider the empowerment of women as one of the key principles of good governance we have already taken several steps in this regard the gender responsive legislation and gender responsive budgeting that we have initiated will go a long way in making governments and governance more gender sensitive we are pursuing legislation that will provide flexibility in working hours to women and encourage greater employment of women in the industrial and services sectors we have passed a bill on protection of women from domestic violence we have effected changes in the criminal procedure code and the hindu succession act to empower our women i am also greatly heartened by the increasing assertion of women's organizations in the campaign against violence against women and in movements demanding equal access of women to education and employment the ngos and state governments that have empowered women through the growth and spread of micro credit and self help groups have recently won the admiration of distinguished visitors from abroad including the president of the world bank who told me that these are the best examples of women's empowerment anywhere in the world government ngo partnership has been successful in enlisting the participation of women in governance therefore i am convinced that the empowerment of women must begin at the very beginning itself even before birth the unacceptable crime of female forticide being encouraged by the widespread misuse of modern technology and its mindless commercial exploitation must be stopped this dastardly social phenomenon must be socially boycotted and legally punished i urge all concerned citizens 
to come forward to put an end to this misuse of medical technology the hazardous effect of this practice is already there for us to see in some of our most developed states like punjab haryana gujarat maharashtra and delhi this is creating a gender dis- imbalance in our population that is harmful to our nation and society we must therefore try to restore balance by protecting stop